Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video I'm gonna be continuing our spring decorating series and for today We're gonna to be decorating my kitchen area and also my dining area, which I think I've never shown to you guys Which is crazy, but I finally feel like it's at a place where I can really show you guys But anyways, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos And let's go ahead and hop right into it Starting off with the tea station, I like to keep things fairly neutral but with a lot of texture. So I'm starting off with one of my favorite scallop trays. This one you can find in several different places. I believe Michael's is the cheapest. So I'll try and link all of those options wherever is still in stock. And then I went ahead and added our Smeg electric kettle in there. And surprisingly, it actually fits in there perfectly and it's enough space for me to add other things as well. And then so I found this little like pencil holder cup from Home Goods and I turned that into my spoon holder. So that's where I have like all my little teaspoons and stuff and then hopefully I'm gonna be like collecting them whenever I find them like different wooden types and textures and all that just to add some interest and then I just added some coasters and napkins just to keep things accessible and practical for when I make tea. I also found these gorgeous canisters at Target that I really, really love. And their smaller one actually has a little spoon as well. And I just love the way it looks. I did just recently find one that's a little bit less peachy in color at Michael's. And I might end up switching to those instead. So I'll add both options in the description for you guys. Moving on to the rack above my stove, I still have this portrait that I DIY'd a while back and that's basically pretty much everything that I did there. Now, moving on to next to the stove, I started with this like wooden tray from Luxby Co on Etsy and then right next to it, I added a vase and then I like to use that for my wooden spoons so I just placed those in there. And I also added this really cute little like tiny vase that I'm hoping to add tasting spoons to. There was some really beautiful tall ones from I believe Creative Co-op but they're discontinued so I'm still waiting to find some. Um, but anyways I added my spice mills and then this little bowl with my garlic. And before we move on to the island, I do want to talk about today's sponsor, and that is Sierra. So thank you, Sierra, for sponsoring today's video. Sierra has some of the most beautiful and affordable pots and pans that I've been using the Beyond Collection for the last two weeks, and they've done amazing at cooking everything. The Beyond Collection includes one fry pan, one saucepan, a saute pan, and a Dutch oven. And its nonstick, non-toxic ceramic coating is great for anyone who doesn't like using too much oil in their foods, like myself. And I've owned my last set of pots and pans for three years, and I think it was about time to finally upgrade and it also comes in three colors it comes in midnight dream sakura candy and orangina and it also is dishwasher and oven safe up to 450 degrees fahrenheit Now, if you want to have the ultimate cooking combo, you can also add the Hood to Go portable hood range. It's small, light, and takes up no space. This mini size can be used while cooking whenever and wherever. And this portable hood range comes with three different filters that filter fumes and odors. And the filters are also super easy to clean. They're dishwasher safe. This is great for outdoor and indoor gatherings, and it can be used with an induction cooker, an electric grill, an electric heating cooker, and basically anything that's not an open flame. But anyways, if you are interested in trying out Sierra, you can visit the link down below in the description box. You can choose any color that you'd like and you can use my code COZY35 and you can get 35% off across HGGs, cookwares, and bundles. And once again, thank you to Sierra for sponsoring today's video. 
Now, moving on to the island, so I went ahead and added this little travertine bowl and a little like soap bar, and then I have a hand lotion in there, and then this little beautiful bowl that I actually just got from Olive Atelier. And then I just added one stem of these little, like, what are they? I think they're poppies? No, they're not poppies, they're... What are they called? <laughs> I'm having a brain fart, but whatever these are, I just added one stem. And then moving on to this little nook here that's like right next to our dining table, I just added my vintage breadboards, this marble one that's kind of an extra one, and then I just added my cookbooks right there just to style. And last but not least, just to kind of keep it together and have somewhere for like fruits and vegetables and all that, I just added this really big salad bowl that I found at Home Goods a while back. Now, while there's not much that I styled here, I did want to give you guys a little look into what it actually looks like, like a full picture. So here are our dining chairs. I actually just got these on Facebook Marketplace for $400, I think. I'm not entirely sure where they're from. I'll try and find them for you guys, but this is kind of what our kitchen looks like. And yeah. Okay, and before I end the video, I do want to show you guys my hutch here because I haven't really shared it with you guys on YouTube. Um, so this was back in my piano room, but I decided to move it back over here. I had a lot of you guys be like, oh, like it's too big for the space, but honestly, like I'd rather have it here and enjoy it than have it in a wall that it actually fits in and not being able to enjoy it at all. And the only reason why is because it's a little bit of a mess over there, but over there is the piano room. It's supposed to be a formal dining, but we don't need that. So it just doesn't make sense to have it over there. If, if I did have a formal dining, then it would have looked amazing over there, but I don't, so it just doesn't make sense to have it there. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what it looks like. I'm gonna have a full video dedicated to this, this hutch and how I decorated and everything, but I did wanna show you guys, just cause I'm not gonna be styling for this video, but I wanted to give you a little glimpse of what it looks like. So this is kind of sitting here and it's right next to our dining area, which is where I can actually enjoy it. I can actually come over here, grab things, put it on the dining table if that makes sense. And like having it in the other room, it just did not make sense at all. So anyways, this is where we hang out most of the time. I can actually enjoy my hutch now. Um, it is taking up a little bit of the window on this side, but literally doesn't even matter, does, like does absolutely nothing. Um, it doesn't block our double doors or anything. So that's really nice, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys a little glimpse of this. Definitely let me know if you guys want like a whole video on how I styled it. Um, I think I will be doing it, but um, either way, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. And then right now, um, it's a little bit of a mess on this side. I was hoping I could film a little bit of a decorating, um, like decorate with me in the family room, but it's it's a really big mess. So I'll just show you really quick. Because um, last time I showed you guys my mess, I had someone come for me saying that they're, you know... Um, Concerned for the safety of my children because of the mess, but um, <laughs> this is just toys, but we are actually covering up our nook that we had here and we're just going to put wall now. It was like a little, it was a hole and it was just, I feel like it was so short and it ended right there. It really dragged this room down and it just makes it feel a lot smaller than it is. And this room is actually really big um, or really tall, I'd say. It's like about 11 feet. So it just felt so tiny. And I was like, you know what? Like we got to actually, no, I think it's nine feet in, the, in here. But even with that tiny, with that big hole in the wall, it just made it feel so, so small. So that's what they're doing right now. They went to go get lunch, but um, they're covering it up. And then hopefully later on, I'm hoping to bring the fireplace all the way up. This is a real fireplace and I just feel like it's so tiny and it needs its own moment. So I think I'm gonna actually end up going to like floor and decor and finding some stone. And we're gonna stone this baby all the way to the top, have its own focal moment in here. Oh my gosh. So that's another project for another video. Hopefully we'll get it done maybe sometime soon, but gotta save up for this project obviously. But yeah, so anyways, that's what's going on over here. And um, that's what I have over here. And that's why these chairs are like sitting in the middle of the room right now. But anyways, hopefully that gives you a little glimpse of what's going on on this side. And that's pretty much it for this kitchen decorate with me for now. But yeah.
Alrighty, and that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys got some sort of inspiration. Definitely let me know if I miss any links or any anything like that. I'll go ahead and add them. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.